Hi, YouTube. It's Ace and Knight, Master Psychic. Starting to do YouTube videos for the first time. Um, I've had a lot of people come to me here lately. Uh, I've heard a lot of conversation about being stressed out, um, feeling a little loopy, being very unorganized, which is never good within my thinking. So I thought I'd take a moment and show you my wife binder so that you can maybe get a little bit more organized and build one of your own. Well, if it works for you, great. If not, find something in ducks because there's no reason you should be running around putting out fires. Now, you know, I run three businesses. I go to school. I'm now starting to develop some class courses for myself. And I carry a full calendar of appointments. That's a lot to take care of. And a lot of it. Plus run a house. That's even more to take care of. You know, if I was single, it's a little bit easier, but now I run a house. House comes with responsibilities. Gotta remember to pay the bills. Got to no longer just included in one nice pretty check. Um, and you gotta remember to take care of different things. So over trial and error, I developed this for me. Why well, I, I can't deal with this. You know, I can't be running around here looking like a net whip. This is my life. It has everything in it for me and my life that I need on a daily basis. And I like these little pocket dividers because they have great pockets. And you can put like notes. I've stuck notebooks in here if I've got like working on something and I'm shooting for ideas. I've stuck um, handouts for classes that I'm doing. That way I can prep myself up. It's already with me. I don't have to hunt for it. I chose a Trapper Keeper for that purpose because with the Trapper Keeper you've got some file folders here so maybe your coupons can go in here, um, meeting notes, store planners, an extra legal pad or whatever, and you've got extra pockets. I've literally put my cell phone in here, my tarot cards in here, my business cards in here, and just ran my business out of this for two days. Can it be done? Yeah. Does it work? You bet yourself. So that's why I chose a Trapper Keeper. You can choose any binder you like. Find one that fits you. If you like pretty designs, go for it. If you like something a little less conspicuous, I chose black because it's black. It goes with everything. Um, the first part of it is my calendar. I, do, I print them up monthly. I used to do it only weekly, every two weeks. But then when I started planning stuff and people were going, well, what are you doing in three weeks on Thursday? It's like, uh... I don't know. So I do it monthly and then I have overall calendars in the front here for the next quarter. Because that's as far as I go out as a quarter. You can't plan anything past that. So, you know, the first section here is my monthly calendars with, you know, important dates and stuff I've got to fill in. And the quarter's almost up, so I'm refilling it. And then I go, you know, the days and the weeks. And each daily section I have my calendar. I have my daily tasks. This is things I have to do every day. And even though you're thinking to yourself, man, you must be crazy because if he's going to do it every day, he should have it down by now. But you don't. You forget those little itty bitty things that you're just used to doing. And when it's really heavy, you forget it. So I made me a standard to do list. Then I have an extra page here that's my to do list. Um, if I've got extra things, if I've got to make a special store run or I need to follow up with somebody, or if I've got a check and appointment status, that all goes in this. If I've got to call somebody and talk to them, that goes on my extra to-do list. So I don't have to think about it. I don't have to worry about it and waste that energy. Also in these sections before, I've put my journal pages. I've put room to write, you know, extra things. If I've got a meeting scheduled, I go ahead and put some extra line pages in there to take notes on it. That way, at the end of the week, everything is in here. There's no worrying about where everything is, what happened to it. It just gets filed away at the end of the week or the end of the month. Now it's the end of the month. Um, but if it's meteors and stuff, they get filed away in my file cabinets that I keep with all this because, you know, a lot of people don't think about, well, I need to remember what I've done three weeks ago or a month ago. But if you're doing a budget or if you're looking at spending, you know, past spending to improve your spending, or you're looking at, you know, when the last time this group met so that you can plan the next meeting, then you're going to need those stops. 
everything needs a backup. Then I have my budget section, which is, it starts out with my projected income for the month, projected, you know, due dates for things. I like to project things out, but I also like to know when things are due. And then this is the bills. What I gotta pay, when I gotta pay, how much is owed on it, because a lot of times I do partial payments and or I'm paying off credit cards so that I wanna make sure that Oh, there's $500 left. I make a $200 payment. Simple math. I make columns for each of those. You know, and I do those weekly. That way I know exactly everything I spent. This section I just cleaned out. But this section is normally for um, my daily spending, um, seeing where my money goes. A lot of people think, oh, you know, you bank things. But we, that's when you not match those little patterns on trackable income. Example. You know, paper, pens, coffee. Do you know how much I spent in coffee last month? It was like sixty dollars. That's on my own, not counting what I keep in the house. So yeah, we're changing that habit. Yes, I am a spendthrift and a money thrift. And then I've got, you know, a section for immediate stuff or emergency stuff that has to be handled and bills. And all the bills that I've got to pay, and they get, they come in the mail. I three hole punch them, put them in here, take the old ones out if I've not already paid them, you know, credit card bills, that type of thing, and put those in here and then file the old ones away. The next section is for my site and my sites that I run. It has all the information on them, the usernames, when they were updated, when I've got to update them. For someone that maybe doesn't run an online business, this would be a great place to put, like, kids' activities or, you know, things that you're doing, your hobbies. That would go great there. And then I have a notes section, and it's blankly labeled notes. But this is the section where I put my meeting stuff. Um, if I'm doing a class, I put my class stuff, my syllabus, that type of thing. And then, in this one, I don't have it yet, but... I've had them before, it's been my journal stuff, and just different things, different meeting notes, and that's my life month. All in all, this runs my world so much easier, it's less stress, you find so much more time management in doing this, and you have the ability to know where everything is in one place, and it doesn't matter where you are, you can run your whole world in a 3 by 5 binder. Okay, first YouTube, hi everyone, I've been watching a lot of them, trying to get tips, trying to understand different things, I hope this one goes well because I'll make some more, and I get other opinionated stuff because, you know me, I'm a loud mouth, and a spin through, so talk to you later, bye!